Good morning, everybody, and happy. I can't say it, I'll give it away. Happy morning, buenos dias. Let's get started. We are still in the month of May, my friends, and it's been raining a lot. But when it rains a lot, the flowers come out, the sun comes out. So let's get started with our calendar so we can figure out what day it is. Are you ready? Two hands, two fingers. Let's get started. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Very good. Thank you for joining me. Now let's look over here. If yesterday was Monday, Monday, today is t -t 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 Tuesday. I heard a bunch of you saying it. Today is indeed Tuesday. And if yesterday we had the number 18, a 1 and an 8 put together, 18, what number comes next? Let's count to figure it out. We start at 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. A one and a nine. I put a one first and then a nine, and I get the number 19. Oh, my gosh, my Sarah's eye is itching. Sorry, my friends. Now let's look at our pattern. Our pattern is yellow, green, pink. Yellow, green, pink. Yesterday I had the color pink. I have, that is the end of my pattern. What color do I need to put in this box? Do I need to put green? No, I don't need green yet. Do I need to put pink again? No, I just did pink. We have to start the pattern over. What color am I gonna use today? That's right, yellow, amarillo, right? Miss Sarah's coloring inside of the line. She's going, she's not going crazy. Very good, my friends. Let's say our date. Are you ready? Oh, let's go over our seven days of the week. Remember, there's seven days in the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Very good. Let's say the date really quick. Today is Tuesday, May 19, 2020. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long, woo, all day long, woo. Yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be Wednesday, ding dong. Ding, ding, dong, ding. Very good, everybody. Thank you for joining me. We are going to quickly talk about today's lesson plan. Okay. Sarah needs her. Okay. Today is Tuesday. So for literacy, we're going to do pretty similar to what we had done the week yesterday and last week with the finding objects in your house that begin with the letter sounds. So today's letter sounds are k, k, er, eh, eh, mm. So you rub your belly like mm. 
and D, 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 d as in a drum. So, for example, let me see if Miss Sarah can find one within reach. Oh, good. K, k, cup, right? Or hand. Okay, so anything in your house that you can find with those letter sounds, we are also today focusing on having the students write their first name and their last name. Today for math, we are practicing counting out 20 objects. The students are going to be, at, you're going to ask the student when they're done counting, how many objects do you count? It could be all the pillows in your house, all the doorknobs in your house. It could be all the blankets in your house, up to 20. And you're going to ask them how many they counted. And our goal is for them to be able to say that they counted 20 blankets. If they should not have to go back and recount every blanket to remember how many. Today for science and social studies, we do have a video on personal space. I'm giving people space. I know that's really important right now, too, as we're talking about, you know, keeping appropriate distance in certain situations from people, you know, learning that people don't want other friends in their space right now. For recess, there is a go noodle activity. And for social emotional, again, we're going to have your child give you can give your child a house job. It could be the same job as last week. Maybe they're gonna maybe add an extra detail onto that. So light switcher, every time they leave their room, they have to turn off the light. Every time they leave the bathroom, they have to turn off the light. Maybe it's tidying up. So making their bed in the morning, you can help them do that. But hopefully as the week goes on, they understand that that is their job when they are done getting ready in the morning. Um, if your child is having trouble counting that high, please remember to have them start lower. Focus on 1 to 10, 1 to 15, and we'll work our way up as we go. Repetition is really important. If there are child that's unable to write your first and last name, please focus on first name. Miss Lily, Miss Sarah will be available via Remind or email. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to us. Happy Tuesday.